Hi, it's Tom Gregory here, and welcome to this video where you'll discover how to measure code coverage using SonarCube and Jococo. And code coverage is a handy metric to know because it tells you what percentage of your production code is tested. And by the end of the video, you'll be able to run this against your own project and see what your code coverage is. And maybe you'll be pleasantly surprised, or maybe you'll be a bit disappointed, but at least you'll know what the number is and you'll be able to make steps to improve the situation. But before we get into a working example and where I explain exactly how this works, here's a quick summary of what SonarCube and Jococo are and how they fit together. And for the purposes of getting this running, we really need three things. And the first thing here is what's called a SonarCube server. And that is a standalone web server that has a nice UI that really collates the different reports and allows you to browse your code coverage and also other kinds of reports as well, such as bugs or security vulnerabilities or code smells. And important to know that SonarCube itself, although it can display code coverage reports, can't actually measure the code coverage itself. And that's where we need the second thing here, which is Jococo, which is going to run inside a Gradle plugin and is going to measure the code coverage of our code. And the third thing we need here is what's called the Sonar Cube Scanner, which is a process that runs a scan against our code and communicates with the Sonar Cube server. And that also runs within a Gradle plugin. So code's waiting for us here. Let's jump right into it. I've put together a repository here at github.com slash tkgregory slash sonarcube jococo code coverage. And I'm going to use this repository as an example to show you the process of generating the report and viewing it in the SonarCube server UI. And then I'm going to jump in behind the scenes and show you exactly how to apply this to your own project using some plugins in the Gradle build.gradle or the Gradle build file. First up, I'm going to clone this repository in the terminal here with git clone. And I'm going to cd to the directory. And this is a very simple Java project built with Gradle. And it's got a source directory. And we've got two classes. One is a math service that has a multiply and a subtract method. And secondly, we have a test for that math service, math service test, that tests the multiply method. So you might have spotted here that we seem to be missing a test for the subtract method. And fingers crossed, SonarCube is going to point this out to us later when we view the code coverage report. Back to the README, it says we need Docker installed, which I already have. And we're going to use Docker to bring up an instance of SonarCube by running this Gradle W docker compose up command. So let's do that now. Missing the dot. OK, now I'm going to run Docker PS to see what Docker processes I have running here. And you can see I've got SonarCube and it's running on port 9000. So heading back to the browser here, let's go to port 9000 and SonarCube is starting. So after what seemed like an age, SonarCube is finally up and running and I'm on the home page here. And ignore everything else apart from what we see here, zero projects analysed. So there's nothing in SonarCube right now and we're going to fix that by running a sonar scanner against this project. So back to the terminal here. Let's clear this. And all I need to run is Gradle W SonarCube. So a Gradle task called SonarCube. Let's run that. That's going to run the Sonar Scanner against the code in this project. And it's going to communicate with the SonarCube server and submit a report at the end. Build successful, back to the browser, refresh, one project analyzed. That's great. So let's jump in here and we can see, importantly, that we've got a 66.7% coverage. Now this might be surprising to you because you might have thought that we should have a 50% coverage because we have two methods and one of those methods is not tested. Well, let's jump in and see exactly 
what logic Sonar Cube is using. So I'll click on the percentage here and we've got the list of classes and I'm going to click on the class and here we've got quite a nice overview of the code in the class and green means covered and red means that it's not covered. So you see here that SonarCube is saying that the math service class is covered, the multiply method is covered, but the subtract math method is not covered. So in a way that's two out of three and that's really why we're getting the 66.7% here. So now I'm going to jump in behind the scenes and explain how the build.gradle looks, what plugins we need and how you can apply this to your own project. So in the build.gradle we have importantly two plugins. The first one is Jococo and Jococo is a tool that runs against your code and generates a report with the code coverage because as I mentioned earlier SonarCube doesn't evaluate code coverage itself it requires it to be supplied to it by an external tool and this runs automatically when I run Gradle test. So I run Gradle W test and then inside my build directory I've got a directory called Jococo and in Jococo I've got a file test.exec and this contains all the information about the code coverage and SonarCube uses that when it runs its scan to send the details of the code coverage back to SonarCube server. And the second plugin you need is called org.sonarcube and that essentially is a way for you to run a Gradle task which is SonarCube which you saw me running earlier and that is running the Sonar Scanner. So when you run that task it uses a configuration down here that I've got defined We've only got one configuration property right now. You can configure it in various ways. But importantly here, we have to supply the Sonar host URL, which in our case, because we're running this in Docker, is at localhost 9000. So when we run the Sonar Cube command, and I'll do that again here, when we run Gradle W Sonar Cube, this is running the Sonar Scanner that's communicating with our Sonar Cube server instance and it's again submitting a report here. Uh, same value 66.7%. In summary you need two plugins the Jococo plugin and the Sonar Cube plugin. The Jococo plugin you're good to use the default configuration, the Sonar Cube plugin as a minimum you'll need to set the Sonar host URL. So now you've seen how to measure code coverage in a project using the SonarCube server, the Jococo Gradle plugin and the SonarCube Gradle plugin. And hopefully now you can go away and run this against your own project to see what your code coverage is. And I also encourage you to have a look through the rest of SonarCube here and take a look at the reports for bugs and security vulnerabilities and code smells. If you like this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to see future videos on related topics. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next time on Tom Gregory Tech.